October 14th, 2025. That's the day when Microsoft officially pulls the plug on Windows 10. No more security updates, no more fixes. If you're still running Windows 10 after that, you're exposed. But don't worry, there is a way out. Meet Linux Mint 22.2 Zara, a free, polished, reliable operating system that might just be your safest escape hatch. Today we're diving into what's really new in Mint 22.2, how it stacks up to Windows 11, and whether switching now makes sense, especially given the clock is ticking. Let's get into it. First, what precisely does end of support mean? On October 14th, 2025, Microsoft will stop providing security patches, software updates, technical support. This means that any vulnerabilities discovered after that date will not be fixed. Cybercriminals love unpatched systems. Also, many third-party software makers will gradually drop support. New features, new apps, maybe compatibility issues. Microsoft is offering an extended security updates program, but it's paid or point-based. Doesn't include everything and is only a temporary band-aid. Linux Mint is one of the most popular desktop Linux distributions. Beloved for being user-friendly, stable, and polished. The latest version, Linux Mint 22.2, codenamed Zara, was released in early September 2025. It's a long-term support, LTS release, which means updates and support until 2029. It's available in three desktop editions, Cinnamon, most popular, Modern UI, Mate, and XFEC, lighter weight. So if your hardware is older, there are lighter options. Now, the juicy part. What's new in this release? Not a revolution, but a lot of polish plus improvements that make the experience smoother, safer, more modern. Visual polish and theming. Login screen got a blur effect on the background image, making credentials slash login UI more readable. Login now shows user avatars. If you share your PC, this little detail helps. The default mint Y theme has been tweaked. Slightly more blue, more metallic sheen. Dark mode softened a bit. Themes of GTK4 slash Libidweta apps better integrated, matching accent colors, etc. Fingerprint slash biometric support, Fingwit. New tool called Fingwit lets you enroll fingerprints, manage them, use them to log in, use sudo, etc., though there are some limitations due to encryption key rings. Sticky notes slash syncing notes. Floating post it style sticky notes have rounded corners now. There's a companion Android app so you can sync notes between your phone and your desktop using SyncThing. Handy for reminders, to-dos, etc. Hypnotics improvements. Hypnotics is the IPTV player in Mint. New theater mode, hiding controls, and borderless mode. Floating PIP style with snapping and better behavior. Other polish and updates. Better icons, Android Studio, web apps, etc. And general icon set refresh. Softer dark theme, better support for modern apps with GTK4 slash Libidweta. Upgraded software manager, improved update manager, more helpful messages, maybe better reboot suggestions. Modest system requirements. For what it offers, Mint 22.2 doesn't demand super powerful hardware. 2 to 4 gigabytes RAM, around 20 gigabytes disk, etc. Older Windows 10 era PCs often meet slash exceed this. Let's weigh the pros and cons in a direct comparison. First, security support beyond the deadline. Windows 10 will have none unless you buy extended security updates. Windows 11 has full ongoing support, but it comes with stricter hardware requirements and forces you to embrace some newer security technology. Linux Mint 22.2 is fully open source with security provided by the community and Linux kernel updates and it's supported all the way until 2029. Next, hardware requirements and compatibility. Windows 10 still runs on a very broad range of older PCs. Windows 11? Many older machines fail the requirements for TPM and Secure Boot. And if you're curious but not ready to install anything, my Ultimate USB V2.1 lets you boot right into Linux Mint and over 50 other live environments safely without touching your hard drive. It's the easiest way to test drive Linux and dozens of tools before making the jump. 
If you're interested in checking it out, click the tagged product or check the description. Linux Mint 22.2 is much more forgiving, working well on modest hardware. Now, cost and licensing. Windows 10 is licensed and proprietary, and you may face extra costs for extended support. Windows 11 is similar, with added privacy and telemetry concerns. Linux Mint 22.2 is free and open source, with far fewer and more transparent privacy issues. Software and app compatibility. Windows 10 is great for Windows apps and games. Windows 11 will continue that, but may require newer hardware and features. Linux Mint 22.2 has many apps available, but some Windows software or games may need workarounds through Wine, Proton, or virtualization. Finally, learning curve and usability. Windows 10 is familiar to most users. Windows 11 has a new interface with some changes, but still somewhat familiar. Linux Mint 22.2 requires a slight adjustment if you're coming from Windows, but it's well documented and designed to be easy to use. In short, if your PC is old or you're concerned about cost and privacy, Linux Mint 22.2 is looking stronger than ever, especially before Windows 10's deadline passes. When is the best time? Probably now. If you have an older PC that may fail Windows 11 compatibility, especially TPM or secure boot issues, want to avoid the risk of unpatched vulnerabilities after October 14th, don't absolutely need some Windows-only software or game. If you do, you can dual boot or use tools like Wine, Virtualization, Cloud, or Remote. What to watch out and plan for. Back up all your data. Try Mint in live mode so you can test hardware, Wi-Fi, graphics, peripherals. Prepare for software gaps, for example, some proprietary applications. Maybe dual boot for a while until you are comfortable. Here are some of the key pros of switching. Long-term support until 2029. More control and transparency, better for privacy. Lower hardware requirements can revive old PCs. Avoid the security hole of EOL Windows 10. Cons and challenges, some apps or games may not work out of the box. Peripheral or driver issues, though Linux Mint is good but not perfect. Learning curve if you're used to Windows workflows. Windows software sometimes has no direct equivalent. If you're watching this and still on Windows 10, don't wait for the October deadline to creep up. Start exploring your options now. Try Linux Mint 22.2 Zara live for free. Back up your files. Make sure your hardware plays nice. If we get 1,000 likes, I will drop a video on the top 10 apps you need to install on Linux Mint. Hit subscribe. Click the bell so you don't miss it. Drop a comment below. Are you sticking with Windows 10 and paying for ESU, rolling the dice with Windows 11, or are you ready to break free with Linux? I'd love to know.